Here, let's go for auto sequence. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis four redundant computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20. 15. 12. 10. 9. 8. 7. We have a go for main engine start. 4. 3. 2. 1. And liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis on a nine-day mission to deploy the Tigris communication satellite. This Atlantis mobile program. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston's now controlling. Maneuver complete, rolling Atlantis and crew heads down and on the proper heading. Engines at 104%. Throttling back now to 81 percent. Engine throttling down and holding well. All systems performing well. Atlantis accelerating through the dense lower altitudes. Altitude now 18,000 feet. Velocity 1,000 feet per second. Atlantis beginning to approach the region of maximum dynamic pressure. Engines throttling down now to 67 percent. Three engines at 67. And three engines throttling up. Atlantis, go ahead, throttle up. Roger, go ahead, throttle up. Three engines now running at 104 percent rated thrust. All systems performing well. Good hydraulics, good electrical systems. Altitude now 68,000 feet, velocity 2,500 feet per second. Atlantis now 9 nautical miles downrange. Time 1 minute 35 seconds. Atlantis, com check on UHF. Loud and clear. Flight controllers watching for solid rocket booster burnout. Time, 1 minute, 56 seconds. Chamber pressure tailing off now. And we have a clean separation confirmed on time. Second stage guidance now in effect. Flight controllers assessing first stage performance. Atlantis, performance nominal. Performance nominal. First stage performance of the main engines and boosters was good. All systems performing well. Altitude now 200,000 feet. Velocity 4,800 feet per second. Downrange distance 50 nautical miles. Time, three minutes, five seconds. All systems performing well. Good electrical systems, good hydraulics. Three engines holding well at 104%. Atlantis, two engine, Ben Greer. Two engine, Ben Greer, Sox, thanks. Atlantis could now make a transoceanic abort landing with only two engines should one fail. Three engines performing well at 104%. Altitude now 275,000 feet. Relative velocity 6,000 feet per second. Downrange distance 95 nautical miles. Atlantis, negative return. Negative return. A return to the launch site at this point is no longer an option as Atlantis continues downrange. Downrange distance now 125 nautical miles, altitude 312,000 feet, velocity 7,200 feet per second. Any abort at this point would call for a transatlantic landing. All systems continuing to perform very well. Atlantis gaining momentum and downrange distance. Downrange now 153 nautical miles, velocity 7,800 feet per second.
time, 4 minutes 47 seconds. All systems performing well. Altitude now 342,000 feet. Downrange distance 191 nautical miles. Atlantis, press to ATO, select Banjul. Press to ATO, select Banjul. Atlantis continuing to gain momentum, now has enough momentum to reach a safe orbit should one engine fail. Three engines continuing to perform well at 104% rated thrust, good hydraulics, good electrical systems. Altitude now 355,000 feet, downrange distance 255 nautical miles. Atlantis, Troop Banjul, 109. Group Banjo, 109. Atlantis, press to Miko. Press to Miko. Traveling at 12,000 feet per second, Atlantis now has enough momentum to make a normal insertion to orbit with only two engines. Should one fail, three engines continuing to hold very steady at 104% rated thrust. Atlantis uh, traveling at uh, half the velocity required to uh, insert into orbit. Atlantis, single engine Banjul 104. Single engine Banjul 104. Should two engines fail beyond this point, Atlantis could still reach a safe orbit with a remaining engine at 104%. All systems continuing to perform well. Three engines at 104. Altitude now 358,000 feet, velocity 14,000 feet per second, downrange distance 375 nautical miles. Atlantis, single engine press, 104. Engine pass 104. 